So we're having a hard time trying to get on the beach. So I park my car and I'm walking. <laughs> so when I get down there, if I can get down there, I'll turn the camera back on. I think we can get down to the beach this way. Surf came all the way up to here, washing stuff in. Wearing diving boots today, and this is why. of the stairs washed in here. This is why you can't get down on the beach. Alright, there's still stairs here. Concrete stairs. It's down pretty far. Just getting here. I'm just getting here. Not yet. No. All right. All right, let me get busy here. See if we can find some good stuff. Twenty four to twenty six. Right there. Machine's a little chattery. There's a hotel right here. It's in here. It's in the scoop. I don't know that we can shake this. It's probably too wet. That's going. I hear something that's sticking in there. It's a coin. tell what it is. I'm sure it's a dime. Can't tell if it's an old one. We'll bag it. We'll clean them all up later and see. Hopefully we'll find some old stuff today. We never get to find old stuff down here. It's usually all modern clad and jewelry. So the old coins are kind of a treat when you can find them. Something else. Here. Right there. Could be more here. I don't know. I thought I heard something over there. Might be this. It's in there. see it right there. Popped out a little green. That's probably a copper penny. We'll take it. Like I say, we'll see what the dates are on some of this stuff at the wrap up. All right. Not bad. Two coins, two holes. All right, let's keep going. 12 to 13. It's a 
nickel. It's a nickel. We don't know how old a nickel. We'll throw it in the bag and we'll be surprised when we get home and do a wrap up. Alright. That was it. Let's keep going. So that's the, the drive on ramp. You can see how many feet down below normal we are here. Just a couple of coins, a couple of targets that were just screamers, but they were just way too big to be anything that I'd be interested in digging. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna work my way around this ramp and just keep going down. Low tide's not for another hour, so we've got a little bit of time. I don't know about this one. I'm still next to this ramp here. Could be junk, could be a coin. I see something. Small, kind of crusty. I don't know what that is. We'll look at that in the wrap up. It's pretty heavy. May not be a coin. That was it. Let's fill it in. Keep swinging. Twenty-five. It's out. Two targets. This one doesn't sound good, whatever it is. A little piece of rusty junk. I see it. It's round. It's another coin. I'd say it's a penny. How old of a penny though, we don't know. We'll check it out in the wrap up. In the bag it goes. I think it's that little piece of junk right there, no? Or just more of it. No, that's just sand. I don't know, there's a little piece of rusty iron there. I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's fill this in. And keep going. It's like a propane tank washed in here. Must have came out of the dirt somewhere. All right, still heading down towards the pier. Let's keep going. Lost part of the seawall here. Some of it's still standing. Crazy. Well, I'm gonna keep swinging and try to find us something good. There we go. 1213 right. Could be a nickel, could be a big fat gold ring. It's out. It's in here. I see something right there. I think. It's a crusty something. I suspect that it is a, it might be a button, but I think it's a nickel. I think it's just got a lot of conglomerate stuck to it. I don't know. We'll, we'll clean all this stuff up and get a good look at it in the wrap-up. You never know. You could find anything out here on a day like today after a storm like that. That's it. Let's keep going. 
13. Still down there. I don't know, there's something crazy going on. I don't know if it's two targets. It might be two targets, it might be big. I don't know. Yeah. No, it just hit something. I see it. Whatever it is, it's right there. It's a spoon. Take it. It was big. All right, let's fill it in and keep going. Perfect 11. This could be good. Is that something? Something right there. Oh boy, baby. Oh, oop, I dropped it. Oh, it's back in the scoop. That is good. I think this is a good one. It rang up good. Ah, uh, maybe not. Hard to say. Uh, let me give it a quick rinse in the puddle here. I think it's got writing. Yeah, that's a good one. Pretty pink stone with two little diamonds, looks like, on gold. Yay. In the jar. Alright, that was it. Let's fill it in. Keep going. Sounds small. I got it out. Right in there. All right, we got it. Let's make sure we got a clean spot here. Let's see if we can spread it out. I see something right there. Pretty small. Little tiny stainless nut. We'll take it. Let me shut my camera off and save my battery. I'll fill this hole in right now. So the old seawall made out of palm, palm tree stumps is uh, I think there's more of it showing now than after the last storm. I don't know. Yeah, they go all the way down. I've been searching, haven't found anything down here. A couple of large targets, I wasn't gonna dig them. The sun's out though, and it's turning out to be a nice afternoon. It's a shame there's so much destruction down here. All right, let's keep going. 14 to 16, I just hit something right there. Oh, it's a shell. Okay. It's a shell. Alright. 14 to 16. Somewhere right here. It's in this. right there. 
Another piece of lead, I believe. Oh, that's a that's a pistol cartridge. That's an unfired bullet right there. That's pretty old. All right. That was it. Let's keep going. I like this one. Getting lots of 11, 12s in it. Could be a good one. Could be a nickel. It's still there. It's in the scoop. I don't know. Got it. Here comes a little water. We'll fill our hole. No. Oh, I see it. It looks good, guys. That looks really yellow, too. That looks like a nice high carat, carat gold ring right there. Look at that beauty. That's a nice one. We will take it. We'll clean them all up and look at it good and I'll get some pictures and stuff in the wrap up. All right. Let's keep going. I see somebody's dig hole there and I see a an 18. It's a looks like a penny. Whether they tossed it back down or it blew out of the hole and they didn't find it. We found it. Alright, let me keep going. 15 to 19, kind of bouncing around. Probably nothing great, but we'll dig it. You never know. It's out might surprise us. Somewhere right in that little bit of stuff. Whatever that little roly-poly thing is, is rolling away. Probably a bullet or something. What are you? It's heavy. I'm gonna say fired bullet, but I don't know. We'll clean it up later and get a good look at it. I think it's big enough to just drop in the pouch and go through the hole. All right, let's keep going. Uh, 24, 25. out. It's in there. I see something. Piece of copper. All right, let's keep going. Ten, eleven, twelve. Good number. Right there. We must have moved it. It sounds a little mixed now. About that. No. Might be out. We might have it in this little clump right there. No, we didn't get it. It's still in. There. It's still down there. I 
I don't know. It's either on the edge or it's in this clump right there. All right, it's in that clump. I see something right there small. I don't know that that's it. That's not it. There's that, whatever that is. I think that's for like inflating a football or something. Not what I was hoping for. That was a nice gold ring sounding signal. All right, let's fill this in and keep going. 1819. Still there. What about that one? It's out. 16 to 19. Oh, get out of there. I see something right there. guess and say another crusty zinc penny. Might not be zinc, it might just be a penny, but we'll we'll bag it. We'll clean them all up later and see just what we end up with. Alright, let me fill this in and keep going. Sounds like another penny. Somewhere in here. I think I see something green right there. No. It's in here. Yeah, I'm gonna say another crusty penny. If I had to guess. Alright, let's keep going. 1617 right here. Not a great number, but it could be a piece of silver maybe or something, a little silver ring. I haven't found any silver. Well, we found some silver coins, I think, earlier. It's in that clump right there. It's round. I'd say it's another crusty coin. I gotta get a new line to walk here. We'll bag it. Could be good. But I think a, an old copper penny would have rang up higher. So it's probably just a zinc. All right, let's keep going. I got three arrows deep, three to four arrows deep. So it's probably eight inches. Yeah, I got two or three. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, that's, that's what I, you know, I did a little bit of research on this thing. I think I missed it. It's over here. But I really enjoy watching you on your videos. I pick up a lot of a lot of tips, you know, you always like, okay, one more scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I see something right there, square it looks like. What is it? Oh, it's not. It's a. It's one of them really old pull tabs. Yeah, I got a couple of the square here. type. I noticed right. in the last video. You were Let's keep going. Ball. Got a deep signal here. Twenty nine. I don't know. We're gonna dig it. That's what I like about 
You can't give up. No. You got to keep swinging. I don't know now. I think it's still in the hole. Shallow stuff will do that to you sometimes. You get like a double hit. I don't know about this one, whether we're gonna get anything or not out of this. Might just be all that black sand down there. I don't hear it. I think it's in this one. It's in here. All right, I think we got it in the scoop. Some water. See it. See that was pretty deep. That could be something good. It's kind of yellow looking. This could be old silver. It's getting dark, can't see it very well. In the bag it goes. All right, let me let me fill this in, and uh, we'll keep going. There's something here. It looks pretty deep, so I don't know. We'll put a couple of scoops on it anyway. Getting a few higher numbers, so it could just be another old coin. Oh, come out of there! Yeah. Still there. Should be right on the edge here. Nope. We got her that time. I don't know, we can wash it in here. We can try it. Might get enough water. It's a coin. Can't tell. Probably a copper cent. Could be an old dime though. I don't know. In the bag it goes. We'll check it in the wrap up. It's starting to get dark here. I got my light with me so. We should be good for a little while anyway. Let's keep going. 2425. I didn't notice the depth. It's out. In there. It's over here. See it. Looks like a coin. That 
looks small. I'm gonna say that's a, a dime. Could be silver. I don't know. Getting too dark. Another few minutes, I'll get my light out. Let's keep going. Solid 26. Looks a little bit deep. sand maybe on this side a little bit it's in here it's in the scoop That's a nice shape too. But we'll check the date on that one later. <laughs> In the bag. Check it. That was it. All right, let's keep going. Marky's got him on over here next to me. All right. That's it. Let's keep going. Solid 13 right here. We're just about to the exit of the beach. This could be the last the last hole. right on the edge here. Oh, I think I just hit something. I hit something down there. About there. Oh, something. I don't know what it is. Not a nickel, some kind of a bracket. Stainless. We'll put it in the bag. All right, let's fill it in. Let's keep going. Might could get something else before we get to the to the ramp. Deep. 20, 19, 20. Pretty deep. We'll put a couple of scoops on it. It's probably just a penny. But you never know. It could be a little silver ring or something. 18. down in there. It's out, 19 in here. Fishing sinker, I do believe. Space pod. It's heavy. We'll take it. Well, 
I think I'm going to leave it there unless I get a screaming 10 12 because I don't have very far to go yet and, and then we'll be off the beach so I'll see you all at the wrap up should be a good one all right let's see if we can do a quick wrap up Beach is really messed up down there. Um, very hard to even get access down on the beach. We did pretty well, but uh, it's going to be a while before it gets back to normal down there. We got one first gen pull tab, dream squasher, a couple beaver tails, a couple of little clips, and just little metal junk, one piece of copper tubing bunch of broken glass and got a knife and this is why it's good to keep some of this packing foam in your bag you get something that's sharp you can stick it in there whether it be fish hooks or something like that they can keep you from getting stuck with it the spoon it is bent I can see it's kind of not supposed to be that way but it's a really nice high quality uh, stainless, polished stainless spoon. I probably will straighten that out to hang on to that one. Uh, this I thought might have been a coin, but it's not. It's uh, a copper washer. It's got a hole in it, but it's full of sand. But yeah, uh, a couple of nuts. Stainless, two are stainless, one's copper, the little tiny one. A fishing sinker with some little piece of metal. Two fired bullets and... Uh, an unfired cartridge, it's 32 caliber. And some kind of metal bracket, it's got some numbers on it, so I might could look it up and see what it is supposed to be used for. We had 14 crusty zinc pennies. I was on a line there, I kept kept finding them. <clears throat> we had uh, one copper memorial cent and one clad dime, two nickels. This one was a 64. Uh, I don't think the other one was old. On the better stuff, we had three wheat scents. The, uh, the one is really very nice. I forgot what year it is. 40, I think it was a 43. And the other two I can't get dates off of. We had one mercury dime. Let's see if I can put my light on it. Maybe you can see it a little better. But I can't get a date off of it. You can kind of see it there. Mike could work on it and figure it out, but not a big deal. And uh, the quarter is a 40... Put my glasses on here. I think it was a 47, 43. 43 Eagleback quarter. That was really deep. That was like six or seven scoops down. You could barely hear it. And, uh, but we got it. And the two best finds of the day are the two gold rings. This one, it looks much more pink in person than the, the photographs. Um, but I'll put the photos up so you can see it. It's either pink tourmaline or amethyst and I guess two little diamonds I haven't had a chance to get them checked yet 10k pretty little ring and probably the best find of the day was this ring here it's very yellow looking and it's all fancied up and uh, the stone is a very dark green uh, if I can shine my light through it it kind of lights up green it's got little flecks of red I think it's what they call bloodstone and the ring itself is uh, marked 14K, but it looks it looks more like 18. But I'm, I'm going to have that tested. But it's a cool old ring. Uh, on the inside, it's up, again, I'll put some pictures up so you can see it. It's dated uh, December 25th, 1916. So it was probably a Christmas gift or something to somebody. But it's a, it's a nice little ring.
so yeah, we had a pretty good, pretty good hunt, and uh, we'll get back down there again and see what else it's given up down there. But I guess I'll leave it there. I think this video is getting a little bit on the long side. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy the video. If so, hit the like button and subscribe and all that stuff. And you won't miss the next one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.